what are some of the assumptions made when using t-tests and how do they relate to real world problems hi everyone welcome to another data science mock interview with exponent today we're going to talk a little bit about t-tests with our guest anto thank you so much for being here uh, would you take a moment to introduce yourself to our viewers please anto sure um so my name is anto i'm currently a senior data scientist uh, at um, a fang company and uh, I've been working in um, data science uh, over 10 years. So hopefully I can maybe share a little bit and um, walk people through uh, some of the questions in the mock interview today. Amazing, thank you. I think you're the right person to ask some of these questions, uh, to answer some of these questions. Uh, let's jump right in to our question. Uh, what are some of the assumptions made when using t-tests and how do they relate to real world problems? Sure. So t-test has been a very popular statistical um, technique that has been widely adopted in the industry, um, mainly for like experimentation and A-B testing. So when people are using t-test, there are three um, main assumptions that uh, we are using. The first one is uh, the uh, assumption of independence. Inde independence means um, each observation within the, the group must be independent of each other, meaning um, the data point of um, one group should not influence the data points uh, in the other group. Um, the second um, assumption of a t-test is uh, about normality. Uh, that means the data within each group should be approximately normally distributed. So think about a bell curve when you see, um, so we should plot the data, you should basically observe something like a bell curve or like um, a normal distributions. Uh, uh, however, I think that uh, for that assumptions, uh, we might have some um, kind of um, relaxations, especially for larger size, uh, when we have more samples, then we might have the central uh, limit theorem that would allow for some deviations from the normality. And the third uh, assumptions is about the homogeneity of variance or the homocidasticity, uh, meaning the variance of the two groups should be equal. If you're enjoying this video, you can watch dozens more of videos like this at tryexponent.com. Check out our real interview questions with full written solutions. Over a million people use Exponent to ace their interviews in product management, software engineering, engineering management, machine learning, data science, and much, much more. Get started for free at tryexponent.com. Uh, well, maybe you could uh, expand a little bit uh, onto, on what situations are appropriate to use a, a test different from a t-test. Sure. Um, so, like, the idea of t-test, again, is um, very widely used um, statistical technique. But in reality, um, usually those assumptions that I just mentioned um, are usually not met. For example, um, sometimes uh, the independence assumption uh, can be violated. Uh, and in that case, we might need to use something like a pair t-test, for example, or like a pre and post study uh, where we uh, measure the subjects uh, more than once. Um, another example would be the normality example is also like very often uh, are not, um, um, they, they very often are violated. Uh, and like, because most of the time in real life, we see the data are usually skewed either to the left or to the right. And in that case, we might need to use some like a non-parametric test, uh, such as the uh, Winkowski uh, rank sum test, for example. Um, and those tests will be more appropriate for the, the non-normal um, uh, data. Uh, and also like uh, sometimes the variants are, are not the same within uh, the groups. So in that case, we, we need to do some corrections uh, for the t-test uh, uh, and some other statistical technique that, uh, that does not assume the um, equal variance uh, between uh, the, the two groups. Thank you uh, very much, Anto. I, I appreciated that. Um, and thank you, everyone, for watching. If you enjoyed this interview, visit tryexponent.com and view our data science interview course where you will have access to our library of interview questions, expert coaching, and peer-to-peer -peer mock interviews. Good luck on your next interview, and thanks for watching.